What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Hello again, whiskey friends. It's the Whiskey Riff Lounge. And tonight, today, whatever time you're watching this, we're going to do a head to head. And this is one of my favorite, I think, that I've come up with because of the uh, how close I think it's going to be, I guess is the best way to put it. We're going to do Elijah Craig send off here. We're going to do the YR23. If you saw our whiskey challenge bracket, you know how good this freaking pour is. Focus. Come on, get in front of my face. There we go. There we go. And my favorite batch so far, C923. And we're going to see which one is better. So let's get into this thing and uh, kick this thing off. See you in a couple seconds here, guys. All right, guys, welcome back. It's good to have everybody back here. If you're just tuning in, first time on the channel, make sure you guys click the like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And thank you guys for all your support. So let's get into this thing. Uh, we've been drinking a little bit tonight, so I may be a little bit jazzed up. So uh, we're gonna compare C923, which is in this uh, Jeff Glenn for me. There we go. Against the Y batch, which is pour your own bottle uh, from Elijah Craig. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. In the Whiskey Riffs Lounge. All right. So if you guys haven't been to Heaven Hill or some of these other distilleries, they do an offering. When we were there, they had four options. They had an experimental Elijah Craig barrel proof, Larceny barrel proof. Was it? Maybe it was just three. I think that was it. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, there was four. It was Bernheim. That was the other one. Sorry. Um, so what they do is they let you taste all four and then you get to choose which one you want to make your own bottle of. Now, this bottle, particular bottle, um, we think was cursed because Darrell dropped his bottle. Sam's bottle blew up in his bag because he didn't pair film it on the way home. So it is kind of a haunted uh, bottle, so to speak. But Guys, I'm excited to share this with you. So let's start out with the one that I just tasted, which is the Y batch right here. Let's get into the nose and let's see what we get. Here's Whiskey Friends. Dude, this is, oh my God. Right off the nose, vanilla, caramel, a little bit of nut, but it's really sweet oak too. So on this Y batch, it is 12 years old. So uh, the C batch, which we're gonna try next, which is right here, is 13 years old. So they're pretty close in age. Again, those ages are the youngest whiskey in the blend. So just remember that if you're looking at a whiskey and it's age stated, that is the youngest whiskey in that particular blend or single barrel. My God, that's good on the nose, holy shit. Um, so bottling experience, let's talk a little bit about that first. So when you go in, like I said, you get to try all four, then you get to clean your bottle, air dry it out, and then go pull the, the lever, fill it up, write your label on it. I think mine's a little bit messy, but I'll show it to you. Um, I messed up on one of the things on there. So you can kind of see, you can name your own thing. Um, it's the proof point and then the batch. And they do these every three months, I think is what Jeff said. Um, but they're similar batches um, that you can do. Now for us, it was a great time. We had a big group there. I think we had about 10 people with us when we went. Um, the Turks, uh, the Ardolinos, uh, Jason, the Modern Norseman, Jeff, myself, and Darrell. Um, so we had quite a few people um, do this with us. And that is just some Killer, killer good nose. I could sit and sip and, and smell that all night long. Now we just, this one did come in second place in our uh, bracket that we had. Uh, was beat out just a little bit by Copper and Caspic. Man, this thing is killer. Let's get in the palate. Oh man. So you get a little bit of that peanut note up front. 
that sweetness. Whoa. But then the rye kicks in and the proof kicks in. This is a 129 proof and the sea batch I think is 133. I'll check it in just a second. Um, damn, that is really, really good. Um, palette matches the nose. You get all of that richness and sweetness up front and then you get the proof and the rye mid palette. Again, this was the four year old. It was a great experience. I think it was right around a hundred bucks if I remember right or 90, something like that. But it's a 12 year old whiskey. Um, it was a really cool experience to do with your friends. Everybody kind of picked their own bottles. I think Darrell, Jeff, myself and Sam all picked this bottle. I think the Artelinos went with one of this one and one of the Larceny. Oh, the Turks were there too. Sorry, Ethan and Katie. Uh, I believe that they got one of each as well, the Larceny and the and the Elijah Craig. So um, let's go back to C923. This is a favorite of many people, but it is 133 proof, 13 years, seven months. So quite a bit difference in uh, proof point there by about four or five points. I don't know, guys. Off of the rip on the nose, the, the Y batch has a better nose. And I love C923, don't get me wrong. This is a great whiskey. It's pretty close, the more I smell this one because I just poured it and that one has been poured for a little bit. So this one kind of comes off a little proofier on the nose. A similar profile, but a little bit more um, muted compared to the Y batch or the bottle your own batch. Um, Get a little bit more cherry on this, whereas I got a little bit more um, brown sugar and sweet oak up front on the nose on the bottle your own. But on the C923 nose, it's, it's not bad at all, obviously. But it does, it's, it comes across a little bit more alcohol forward and a little bit less sweet and muted. Oh my God. That's freaking good. I'm sorry for the loudness. My top is glassier. Holy crap, that's really good on the palate though. So I'm gonna give the nose to the bottle your own. I'm gonna go in for a second sip on C923 and see if uh, see if it can hold its own against that. Guys, and if you haven't done a bottle your own, whether it's Heaven Hill or Barstown or Michter's, do it at least once, man. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's not something that I feel like you're going to regret doing it by any means. Um, it's worth the price. So going back to the nose after tasting, it does come across a little bit richer on second uh, after tasting it and go back to the nose. A lot more cherry, like I said, on this one, on the C923, as opposed to the brown sugar and rich oak on that one, which is weird because this one's younger, supposedly, but this is a 12 year, this is a 13 year, seven months. But I don't know that I would say that this one smells older by any stretch. Um, just more cherry forward, more fruit forward, which I like, um, but on this one, it is just dense and rich. Let's go back in for a second sip here on the C923. Cheers, whiskey friends. Thanks for sticking around with me. All right. Man, I'm going to have to give the palate to the C923 by just a little bit. I mean, it is super close. The proof point on this thing is killer. You get all of that rye spice with a sweetness up front with a cherry. Um, finish on that suckers. Oh my God. Going and going and going. Um, I do think that this finishes longer, the C923. Um, let me go back one more time to the Y batch and see. Oh my God, it's so close. 
I think it would depend on what mood I'm in. Like if I wanted something a little bit darker, I will say this one comes off on the palette a little bit darker. This comes off a little bit brighter, but the finish on this one's a little bit longer and it has more rye and punch to it uh, with that proof difference. But this one is, oh my God, so good as well. So in case you're wondering, um, fill your own is definitely worth it. Um, I'm going to have to give the palette to go to the C923. This one is, I will give the nose to this. Uh, why fill your own? But palette's got to go here. Man, it just depends. It's a toss up. I would say like 93, 91, maybe. I mean, upper 90s echelon whiskey on these products, man. If you're not a Heaven Hill fan or you're not a uh, a barrel proof fan. I would encourage you to try to get into this brand. I was the same way. We were talking about it backstage after the show. I didn't like Elijah Craig barrel proofs when I first got into whiskey. Um, but the longer I've been into whiskey, the more that I have really begun to appreciate the profile and the quality of the whiskeys. I know everybody talks about the laser code, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about that shit. Is it good whiskey? It's good whiskey. Um, everybody else can get lost in all those fucking details. I'll let Cam and his ch channel do all of that shit. I'm just going to tell you what that tastes good and what I like the best and be honest with you about it. So, cheers, whiskey friends. I'm out of here. Thanks for sticking around. We will see you next time right here on Hello Again, Whiskey Friends. And make sure you guys tune in every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. And make sure you guys leave your favorite uh, Elijah Craig batch and what got you into Elijah Craig if it, if it did. And let me know what I should be trying that I haven't tried. If you have some old batches that you really like. I've got some power bottles that are killer. But I haven't, I haven't tasted anything pre-19 um, as far as the new bottle shape. So let me know what you like. Tell me in the comments and we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Jeff, just be friends with me. But you have these whiskey friends, and you say hello again. Oh, Jeffrey, you should just be friends with me. But you have these whiskey friends, and you say hello again.